Hi, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to flash your Raspberry Pi Pico using the Tony Heidi heat. First, we're going to design our same project using the Walkway Online Simulator. Then we will download the design project and we will import it into the Tony Heidi. From there, we'll use the Tony Heidi to program our Raspberry Pi Pico. I'll be using the Maker Pi Pico for this tutorial. The Maker Pi Pico is a very good development board for beginners. It has several features. For example, you have your debugging port breakout. It has a piezo buzzer and a switch to mute your buzzer. It has programmable buttons, reset buttons. It comes with ESP01 socket, and you have several ports that are linked to your GP high hole of your Raspberry Pi Pico. In addition, you have the RGB LED on board, and uh, you have several GPIO brick out mail pin headers where you can connect your jumper cables. So in this tutorial, I'll be using this Maker Pi Pico. Next, you need to go to the Tony.org website to download your Tony Python ID for beginners. This latest version is version 4.0.0. So you can download the particular version for your laptop. In this case, I will download the Windows installer for 64-bit Python 3.10. This will take some time to download. Next, you need to click on the installer to install. And click finish once it is successfully installed. Next, go to your menu and search for Tony. So, after installing your Tony IDE, the next thing is to come to the raspberrypi.com website. I'll provide a link in the video below. And you scroll down to download MicroPython UF2 file for your board. So, there are two types. One is the Raspberry Pi Pico and the second is the Raspberry Pi Pico W. For this tutorial, we're using the Raspberry Pi Pico. After downloading, one, you download the MicroPython, then you press the boot select button, connect your USB cable to your uh, Pico. It will create a folder. In that folder, there's MicroPython.uf2. Drag and drop into the Raspberry Pi USB connection. Now you come to your Woki online simulator, then I'd like you to write this line of code. So this code simply tells you to switch on and switch off the onboard LED. So this LED here is connected to pin 25 of your GPIO. high home. So we're going to toggle the LED using this code. Once this is done, if I run it, you will see, okay, you can see your LED toggling. Stop. Now you're going to download, save. You're going to download your project, whatever project you've designed on your working simulator. So go to download project. Take the project and extract to any directory on your PC. So in this case, I've unzipped it and placed it on my desktop. In your Tony IDE, go to file, open. Click on this computer, then navigate to where you downloaded your Walkway project. Then open the main file. Now that you have imported your main file, then you need to configure your Tony ID. So in your Tony ID, there are two configurations you need to do to make sure that you are able to flash your Raspberry Pi Pico hardware. So in this case, you come to Run, Configure Interpreter. So make sure it's Configure Interpreter. Then under this, you need to select MicroPython Raspberry Pi Pico. Then once your board is connected, you will see it's detected on your Tony IDE. So you can just leave it as default and click OK. So once that is done, if your Raspberry Pi Pico is connected to your Tony ID, you should be able to test by printing on the show. 
So let's say hello. Okay, so it tells me my uh, Raspberry Pi Pico is working with my Tony ID. So the next thing I want to do is just click run. So if you click on this run, it's going to program your Tony IDE and it's done. So if you come, you will see my LED is blinking on my Raspberry Pi Pico. So I can adjust this delay. Let me say five and say going to save, then reprogram my Raspberry Pi Pico. You can see the difference. It's now blinking slower. So this ends this tutorial. So in this tutorial, I've shown you how to flash your Raspberry Pi Pico. First, you need to download your Tony ID, make sure it's installed on your system. Then you design your project using the Woki Online Simulator. Download it, import it into your Tony ID, and of course, you flash your Raspberry Pi Pico. So thank you for watching. Bye.